Uh, what's cracking, people? Angelic Mayhem here. Welcome to episode three of my groundbreaking SimCity 5 tutorial series. Uh, today I'm going to be taking a look at shortcut keys, specifically the 12 shortcut keys that are essential for maximizing your efficiency. Uh, Maxis has finally made it over the hump in terms of server issues, so uh, this is going to be my first video with video. Uh, I want to mention that the graphics here are dumped down on purpose because I'm working on something else and I forgot to turn them all back on. So the game doesn't normally look this wonky. I'm going to be covering six different types of shortcuts. Menus, road building, game speed, and bulldozing. I'm also going to show you how to quickly bring up and hide your water map and how to zone and unzone. So let's get started. So this is Lancaster Point. Uh, I've already set up a little city here. Uh, the beginnings of what will become a great empire. Lancaster Point is uh, built around this uh, giant plateau thing. Uh, the first key I want to show you, the first shortcut key, is the tilde key. As you notice, when I hit it, it paused the entire board. And to restart the board, I can hit 3, and that will set us immediately into cheetah mode. And I hit tilde again, and it brings us back to pause. And the reason why this key is so useful is because if you see these buttons are down here basically in the corner and the closer you get to the edge of the board uh, it will begin to scroll and that actually is pretty inconvenient when you try to hit pause and the board starts to scroll in the uh, bottom left direction uh, that can become very annoying especially if you're trying to take photos or something like that so that's one of my favorite shortcut keys is real quick to uh, uh, hit pause. Alright, so now we're going to go over here and you can see I have a, a small strip of industrial factories. I'm going to add a road to it. So we're going to start with the medium density road and we're just going to plop one down right here. Now you can see that with a straight road you can make it go in any direction but if you hold down shift it will snap immediately to 90 and 45 degree angles. Uh, this is incredibly useful if you're setting up a grid community and you don't want to use the square tool. Again, I hit shift and it goes immediately to the 90 degree angle. Those angles, by the way, are based on the edges of your city. Uh, I'm going to put a line here. If I press the R key, it will bring up the road upgrade tool, which will allow me to upgrade this road later. Now, what I'm going to do here is instead of doing a straight road, I'm going to make it curve. So I'm going to hit the J key, and that automatically sets up the curve tool. And boom, we'll put in a little curved road right there. Now if I hit I, it goes back to the straight road. So that lets me put a straight road here, and if I hold shift, I can make it jump to a 45 degree angle. And there we go. Now we're going to, actually you know what, we're not going to do that. Hold on a second, we'll go back. Because I want to show you, as you can see, I have turned the grids off in the option menu. So the grids don't pop up, the little guidelines that they give you. But if you hold down the Alt key, you can see that the grid lines pop back up. Now I can run my street and know that it snaps to a grid line. Now the grid line for this other street over here is off. And if I try to lay a road, I can't do that, so I have to bulldoze this first. So if I hit the B key, <clears throat> there we go. We'll get rid of that road. You can see it says B right next to bulldoze. That lets you know that that's what the hot key is. And we'll do our road again, medium density. Hold down Alt, and that shows me the guideline. I'm also holding down shift to make sure that the road goes at a 90 degree angle. Snaps to the guideline. Uh, I'm not going to do this one over here because the railroad tracks in the way and I can't connect them. Yeah. So now we're going to do some zoning. We have uh, some residential zone here. Now I see this happen all the time. People go out on YouTube or when I go out on YouTube, I see people doing this. And they put down one at a time, you know, the residential community. But if you hold down control, you can actually zone the entire block. So we're going to do some residential and some commercial. 
Now it doesn't have to be in a square either. You can do like for instance this outside region. Uh, it will go to the end of the road but not over it. And you can also do the zone block thing with the unzone key or with the unzone tool. Uh, again, holding down control and right clicking, you can unzone the areas, including areas that are only partially zoned. So now I want to show you a, a new trick. It, let's say that you wanted to zone half residential and half commercial in a block. You can actually set down, we'll call them waypoints, and then zone only between the waypoints which will allow you to again using control to quickly do half and half blocks and you can do those waypoints here's a little industrial patch again it snaps only to the end of the road now I've decided that this building right here is, this has to go and I've decided that in its place I'm going to put a shop now if the game was running at regular speed and I bulldozed that building it would collapse but then immediately rebuild itself as something else so you have to unzone the area uh, so what I want to do here is I want to unzone it using control U to bring up the unzone key and then I'm going to zone it as commercial by unzoning it you will prevent it from being redeveloped by your sims and then you can switch it to be whatever you want. So the bulldoze key comes in really handy, especially if you have a lot of rubble or you recently had a fire. So B is a very important key to use. So there's another key that's of use. As you can see, my menu options are flipping. And the reason is because I'm hitting the tab key. Uh, tab will switch you in between your various menus, which is pretty useful, especially if you're going from say the fire department to the health center you just hit tab once and it flips you over and this other key uh, which is four um, is for the water table and of course if you know anything about me or have been watching my videos you know that I obsess over the water table so even though four five six and seven all bring up various resource maps I consider four to be the most important and we'll hit three and set the city back in motion and watch it develop there you have it, people. Thank you for tuning in to another edition of my SimCity Versity video blog. You can find the link to my other articles in the description below. Give me a thumbs up or a subscribe if you like this video, and I'll see you next time.